Okay, now that this is part two, I can uh, talk more about the spoilers. Um, but but let me just continue talking about the uh, the um characters that have been brought back. There's there's like Black Adam Jr. Um, and the Reverse Flash, but um, he was already back just from the future or something. I I like that they brought Jade back just because it adds a big love triangle with uh, Kyle Rayner. Um, because, uh, you know, because he's in love with that other Green Lantern, and now she's back, and I, I think that, like, messes up the entire thing, and I like that, because, like, he was, like, you know, he was in love with her, but she's died, you know, you can't, you, ha you can't live in the past, you have to move on, so he's moved on, and he's in love with this other girl, and now she's all of a sudden back from the dead, so what do you, and she's still in love with him, right? So what do you what do you do? I mean, you say, well, I uh, I I still love you, but you're you were dead, so I'm with this other girl now. I can't just like dump her in order to go back to you, you know. Um, so will she be heartbroken because of that, or maybe they'll it's just add a love triangle with that? I don't know. Maxwell Lord is brought back, and I think. I don't know how I feel about that because I don't really know anything about him other than he killed Blue Beetle. But I know they have a story planned out for him for the Justice League International with uh, Blue Beetle. Or not Blue Beetle, sorry. Uh, with Booster Gold, Fire, Ice, and Captain Ma Captain Atom. Um, I know they have a story for that planned out. Martian Manhunter is brought back, but, you know, that was like a given. But I think this is it, guys. This is... Oh, I, oh! But the the most controversial choice was Dead Man. Dead Man is now alive, but they must. Okay, I'm just saying that they better have a big story with that because if they don't, then I don't know. Because the thing that I really liked throughout this was Dead Man saying that he doesn't want to be brought back; he wants to stay as a ghost. I I think I like that because it it, it shows that. I think as a ghost, you see, he has no heaven or hell. He doesn't, he's not going to get judged for any of the things he does because he's just a ghost floating on earth. And therefore, he's afraid that if he is uh, taken, he probably will have to, he'll be, he'll be judged. And he's afraid that maybe he'll be put in the wrong place, you know. Um, but now he's back and apparently he has a, uh, still has a white ring on him. Uh, Hawkman and, uh, Hawk Girl are both alive, even though they were killed in this. I don't know, it kind of, it kind of feels weird to kill them, then bring them back to life, almost as a cheat. I think it was just a way to get rid of Kendra, you know, the one that, that, uh, didn't have the memory of them. Uh, because, you know, the Hawk, Hawk Girl, Kendra Hawk Girl, uh, didn't have memory of their past. But, uh, now that they're... Now that she remembers, she's back to Shaira Hall. So, let me just say, uh, okay, now that I've gone through all that, uh, the best part in this book is when Batman comes. Um, because when Batman appears, even though apparently it wasn't really Batman, they get an emotional connection to him, and then Black Rings claim all the people that have been resurrected. And I love that. I was just like, oh, wow. Because all the people who have been resurrected, Superman, Wonder Woman, um, you know, Superboy, Green Arrow, Donna, Troy, The Flash, Animal Man, whatever. Every one of them ha gets you know, turned into a black lantern, and you're like, oh crap, the odds just tipped in the other favor. We had all of our best superheroes almost turned of, to the bad side. Then the black ring goes after Hal Jordan and Barry Allen, which I thought is also cool. Um, the thing that I kind of didn't like was the fact that they had so many different books. Because you find so many different stories in this thing. Like, first there's the main story, which feels almost incomplete. Like, there's a lot of different stuff that just doesn't happen, right? There's a lot of stuff you're like, oh, well, they're talking about that, but when did that happen? And then you read the other books, and you read about so much stuff that happens in between. 
For example, there is a humongous specter fight in a uh, in this where see uh, a black ring possesses a person who is in the specter. So therefore, someone the specter is possessed by a black ring. And uh, this isn't in Blackest Night book. It's it's in the Green Lantern Blackest Night book. Um, and in that book, when the Spectre comes, you know, he's like all powerful and everyone's trying to attack him, but they're not having any, any, uh, effect on it, right? And so Hal Jordan realizes that the only way that they can, uh, get, fight the Spectre is that if he is infused with Parallax again. So he does. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Because on one hand, you can tell that, yeah, the, it doesn't seem like there could be a, it, it, it seems like uh, he could, um, oh, what am, I, what am I trying to say? It seems that he would almost do that to, uh, in order to uh, defeat the Spectre, but it almost feels like, you think, why would he let him go through that? It, since the last time when he was infused with Parallax, he destroyed Everything almost. He nearly destroyed Earth. But this time, oh man, he just looks so cool as as Parallax. That suit looks so cool. I mean, I was just like, oh yeah. I mean, um, the fight with him as Parallax is is kind of it's really cool actually, and um. You know, the, there's a lot of way different things that go on here. Like, there's every lantern comes to help. So, you know, you got the rage and the greed and Sinestro helping. Um, and uh, they they all held pretty well. Um, I I don't know. I I just I wish the Black Lanterns felt more of a threat. They um. They didn't really feel as much of a, as a threat as they could have been. Um, a couple of things I liked was um, there was a... Oh, what am I trying to say? In the Green Lantern Corpse, which is... Fo See, the Green Lantern Blackest Night Story stuff on Earth mostly follows Green Lantern and Flash. And the Green Lantern Blackest Night follows Green Lantern and, and uh, you know, Hal Jordan... And John Stewart, Green Lantern Corpse mostly follows. Um, it, it follows Guy Gardner, Kyle Rayner, and Kilowog, and and a bunch of the other Corpse members. Which also, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Then the the Black Lantern Corpse follows a, a whole bunch of the superheroes and their encounters with Black Lanterns. My favorite, of course, was uh, Batman's, because Dick Grayson and um, and um, Dick Grayson and uh, Tim Drake, they both get confronted with their parents, and it's a really nice scene. Um, yeah. Uh, all in all, I give the entire Blackest Night. This is a rating for all of it. The entire all shebang that I've read, I give it a, I give it an eight out of ten because it does fall flat sometimes. Like I, I. Got really annoyed with them, say, with people saying all the time, "You're not them. You are not the real person. You are just a betrayal of what they used to be." I'm like, "Oh, shut up." I mean, I, I got a little sick of that, but all in all, it is an amazing read. I just wish it felt more condensed because this seems like everywhere. See, in the Sinestro Corps War, different stuff happened with different characters, but it was all in, in two book, those two books. And it was all in continuous order. And you have to read different books and find out what happens in certain times and say, okay, so, and then you have to go back to the real book and realize, okay, so this happened at this time, and that happened at that time, and you have to figure it out for yourself. Which is a, I don't know, it would feel, it would be cool if there was one big book, although that book would be huge, I know, because, like, all of these are big enough as themselves. Put it together in one book would be huge. But, um, uh, I still think it would be nice if it, if it felt more like, one story rather than reading different books of the same story at different angles. But all in all, this is a great, great book. Uh, so yeah, pick it up. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel. And wait for more coming soon.